Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. I want to thank you guys for joining me today on another backlot video. I know, kind of surprising. Bet you guys didn't think I'd have another backlot video up this soon. That's only because some of my plans with the Aztec have stalled and I got no other content at the moment. Plus, I've got a couple of cars back here that I wanted to take a look at, so I thought I'd bring you guys along anyway. Um, as you can see, the skies are kind of... Uh, clearing up a little bit there's supposed to be another storm coming in it stormed really really good here a couple hours ago here take a look So there's supposed to be more bad weather on the way. So I thought we can get a couple of backlot cars in for today's vlog. And uh, I got three, as usual, picking some that are going to the auction. We'll start with a 2000 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Now just from the appearance on the outside, this Monte Carlo doesn't look too bad. Um, 2000 was the first year for this generation. And honestly, just taking a look at it right now, I would I would drive this thing. I like, I like these in silver. Uh, it's got the multi-spoke wheels. The tires look like they're in pretty decent shape. At least this one is. Let's see what the rest of them look like. Not sure why it's leaving for the auction. Probably has a lot of work that needs to be done to it. Um, seems to be some rusting there, but the driver's side looks pretty good for the most part. There's really no cosmetic issues at all on this side. At the back maybe a couple of scratches on the uh, trunk lid this actually looks like a pretty clean car uh, there's a scratch there it looks like it's rusting through very tiny the rocker moldings on this side might be rusting out because I can see that it looks like the trim is kind of bowing a little bit a little bit of rust there. Front bumper on this side is a little scuffed. Roof, paints on the roof. But uh, it looks like it's in pretty, pretty good shape. Let's take a look on the inside. I can get the uh, keys. Is it this one? I don't even know. I got a couple of GM ones here. Okay, yeah, it was that one. It's got power. Eh, inside obviously needs cleaned out, they always do. Unless they've already been cleaned to go to the auction. I kind of like the two-tone in this one. I don't think I've ever seen that, but the seats are kind of like a grayish almost but there obviously the, the dashboard is black two-tone on the door that's pretty sweet I mean I think if this got cleaned up it would be a I think it'd be a pretty nice car that seat back there looks a little stained this fabric this fabric is so soft I've always liked this fabric um, let's see. So, the door trim, there's not much to it. Window controls, uh, mirror controls, door lock controls. Very small pocket. Let me get my keys out of my one pocket back here. So I can sit down. Oh, go ahead and take a look. Uh, it's got a uh, generic GM key, so it's not the original key from the looks of it. on of course 
158,472 miles on the clock. Wow, okay, so we got analog. We're probably going to have a, a traction issue. Uh, no check engine light. Amazing. Uh, it does sound like it, it's running okay, but it doesn't feel as smooth as, you know. I'm surprised the check engine light's out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, exterior lighting controls with dimmer knob. Uh, we've got our audio and cruise on the three-spoke steering wheel. What else we got? This one has a CD and cassette player. Unless the audio settings are messed up. Yeah, the uh, sounds like the amplifier or something's no good, so the stereo is not working right. Dual zone climate controls up front. Uh, let's see. But once we go in the gear, we're gonna have a traction light. No, maybe not. Uh, sometimes that's when they pop up. Brake pedal doesn't feel too good. Brakes are very spongy. Cup holder. Receipts and such. There we go. Uh, it does have the manual. Some plastic pieces in the glove box. I wonder what they broke from. Storage compartment. Yeah, it really isn't that bad of a car. It's actually really quiet. Like they usually have uh, exhaust leaks probably around this time, so it might have been fixed. Take a look at the trunk. Take a look under the hood. These things have huge trunks. They're not that deep, but they are just huge. So my guess is it's probably, this weed is disgusting. My guess is it probably has the 3400, because I'm assuming this is an LS model. I didn't see the badge, but I'm assuming it's an LS. So I think it's a 34, yep. Ooh, with California emissions, I believe. I think that's what that thing is. Let's see. See some stuff on the side, so gasket work might have been done. Does look a little greasy down there. Let's see. Yeah. needs to be changed. <laughs> it really didn't run too bad though. That's kind of surprising. So uh, this would be a fun project car. I mean I'd take it. I'd take it as is for a project. I don't know how obviously it drives and such but we're not taking it. It's not gonna stay here. <laughs> so there we go. So there's our first uh, backlot car for the day, a 2000 Chevrolet Monte Carlo, LS, I'm assuming, LS. Let's move on to the, uh, our second vehicle. Our second vehicle is a 2003 Saturn L200, and I think I featured one of these on my, uh, backlot videos a while ago. Again, I keep picking ones that really aren't that bad. Front end damage a little bit. Stained wheel covers. Whoa, big moth or something. This one may have been cleaned for auction already. Not too sure, but it actually looks fairly clean. Oh, there's a bunny. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's see. Got some blemishes on the back bumper. <laughs> I 
kind of afraid to walk through here, and I don't want to disrupt him. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're on this side. Got some uh, marks there. Scratch there. Probably no dents because I think these are those dent dent resistant panels. Overall, looks fairly decent. Place to put these keys. Uh, this one. Make sure it's. Ooh, either the remote doesn't work or this car's dead. One of the two. Wow, very colorful seat pattern. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. It's like pastel seats are uh, obviously stained. Yeah, all the seats look like they're stained. I like that pattern. That's a very awesome pattern. Let's see, door trim, nothing on it really. Door lock controls, power mirrors handle and that's it. Small pocket. Your window controls are by the shifter. I don't know if this has power guys. This one might be a dead one. Oh, it's got the original Saturn key. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, she lives. 100,440 miles. No chime. Yeah, it lives. Uh, white face gauges, obviously, in a Saturn fashion. Uh, let's see, we got cruise control on the steering wheel. Automatic headlights. Daytime running lights, obviously, are running now. Trunk release. It's got a CD player. This one sounds like it works. Storage pocket. I don't think the arrow works. The switches are on, but I didn't hear the compressor. Uh, shifter with leather boot that is falling apart. Your uh, window controls are there. Cup holders, handbrake, very small storage compartment. Oh wow, we got a manual. Or a handbook, as Saturn called them. We also got the window sticker. Wow. Somebody liked this car well enough to keep the window sticker. $19,190. Sweet. Uh, seat is not all the way back. There we go. Sounds good. Yep, there's our champ. I wondered if the battery was like on the verge of dying maybe and we brought it back to life. Let's do the trunk and take a look under there. This handle feels funny. <laughs> Again, large trunk. It's not a bad little car. I mean, for it being an 03, it only had 100,000 miles. That's actually pretty impressive. Throw that there for now. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Yep, the 2.2 EcoTech. There is a lot of space under this hood for such a small engine. <laughs> Even the, the booster sits away, wow. Now I think you could have got a V6 with these also. There was a V6 option, so. But the Ecotec is a small engine compared to this entire front. At least it'd be easy to work on. You can get to those brake lines and stuff pretty easily. Fuel lines. 
This one's got an oil leak. Wonder where it's coming from. In the filter now. But it's in there, so she's leaking oil. So it's heavy. Wow. Alright guys. So that'll do it for the second car on today's video. The uh, 2003 Saturn L200. I think it's the remote. The remote's dead. Okay, I got one more for you guys. I think somebody wanted me to film this Buick Sentry. Unfortunately, I don't have the keys. Um, but it's been sitting here for a while. I know nothing about it. Um, but if it's still here and I can get the keys at some point, then we'll put it in maybe a, an upcoming backlog video. But I have I have no way to get into it, so it's uh, it's just here. I don't think it's open. I know nothing about this thing. It's a uh, 2005. Let's see. Is the hood up? Oh, the hood is up. Okay. These weeds. Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, it's had a rough life. It's scuffed up. Fender is damaged. Door is damaged. Missing uh, wheel covers, obviously. The back the bumper is obviously all torn up. Somebody hit something good there. All, all down the side, wow. All of the wheel covers are missing. Uh, this wheel from this angle looks kind of funny. Maybe we have a broken suspension component. I don't know. It's got leather on the inside. I don't know if it's open. If it's open, we'll take a quick look. Oh, it is open. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got a thing on the dashboard, so it already belongs to the auction company. They just haven't picked it up yet, so that's why the keys aren't here. But, uh, it's got leather. Don't know what the mileage is on it. It's got a CD player, dual zone climate controls. It's actually not too bad, but it's leather, so leather is a little bit easier to keep clean. Carpets don't look too bad either. Power windows, door locks, mirrors. Not much I could do with this one. Again, I'm counting on there being a uh, probably either a 3100 or a 3400. 31. Ooh, the uh, valve cover gaskets look good. They look like they were cleaned. Well, you know what? They probably cleaned this for the auction. That's probably why. So it's really clean under here. Can't tell how it runs. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. Okay, so that's the Sentry. At least we got a little look at it. But my last one was going to be this Toyota Sienna. Uh, <laughs> this 2006 Sienna, to be exact, because you guys know how I like my minivans. But it's a Toyota. So, it probably should run. I wish they hadn't parked it so close to the fence. But, uh, it's an 06, and it looks like it... Looks like it's been through some abuse. Uh, let's take a walk. So, the, obviously, the rims are peeling and tarnished greatly. Small ripples. Rust falling from under the door handles. The Sienna's are nice vans, though, usually. I mean... And it's a Toyota, so it probably will run. Okay. It's like the paint's been like peeling there a little bit. Oh, they, these poor wheels. Poor, poor wheels. Bumpers unclipped a little bit. The original plates are still on here. I didn't realize that, so... So I gotta kinda dip down some. Cause I don't feel like editing them out. It's an all-wheel drive model too, a limited all-wheel drive. 
Oh, oh no. Yeah, she's all banged up. The rusting, I wonder if that's really common on this, on these. All of the wheels, man. They're all peeling. Try to get up here. Got some rust spots on the front. Headlights are all yellow. Now this one's also been back here for a little while, so I don't know if it's gonna run because of the battery or whatnot. Oh, she got power. Ooh, we got blind spot indicators. Or not blind spot, turn signal. Turn signal. Yeah, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it smells funny. Oh, it's a nice van though. The way it's designed, the wood woodwork. Oh. Pure luxury. Got leather. Leather's tearing and kind of tarnished. Water bottle. Wonder if the sliding doors work. No. No. Unlock first. Ah, uh, maybe that's it. I don't think the sliding doors work. <laughs> oh, this thing might have an entertainment system. I see a remote on the seat. Oh, the carpets and stuff. Definitely a family vehicle, you can tell. How do we, uh... oh, there we go. I need two hands to do that. Yeah, we got a DVD. Got a screen. Yeah, this is a nice van. Oh look, we got air controls above the door. Any vans are sweet. Obviously when they're in better shape, they're even sweeter. Uh, let's see, up here. Oh, I love this wood, I love that. Memory presets for the driver seat, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Alright, we'll let's see. And that's the gauges. 238,461 miles on the clock. Yep. Let me figure out how to turn this down. Or off. There, okay. Sweet. Well, let's see how it runs then. Okay. <laughs> well, the exhaust is loud anyway. I don't know what that was, but that was like, what? I was waiting for like an airbag to shoot at me or something. Uh, all right. Oh, they put tape over either a check engine light or what they cover, the tire pressure. Or is it brake wear? No, I think it's tire pressure. They put tape over top of it. <laughs> well, all right then. So anyway, this thing has your audio controls, cruise controls over here. Oh, the exhaust stinks very bad. Back door. Oh, I think the sliding doors were off. Uh, headlights up here, automatic headlights, wipers. This one has a CD player. Maybe a disc changer from the looks of it. Load, possibly. It had dual zone climate controls. Shifter, heated seats. Cup holders. Looks like this panel's being pushed out. Is that open? Yeah. Storage everywhere. Ew, no manual. Okay, I'm done with that. It's even got a sunroof. Uh, looks like maybe had a driver information display up there. Let's see. Is that the hood? Yep. I wonder if it wonder if it opens. Try and look at the back real quick. Gotta watch the. There we go. 
Ooh. There's the headphones for the entertainment system. No. Oh, no thank you. Okay, so that works. Let's see if we can get under here. Ah, uh, I can't open it. I think it's a two-person hood, guys. Uh, it's not budging, I don't think. No, I can't get to it. All right, well, it probably had a V6. Uh, I don't know, 3.3 .3 maybe? Well, uh, all right guys, I think that's it. Unfortunately, can't get to the engine, but there was quite a bit in this one, quite a bit. So that's the Toyota Sienna 2006, limited all wheel drive. All right guys, so there's your back lot cars for the day. Gave you a bonus one too, because I didn't think I was gonna do that, that Sentry, I didn't think it was actually gonna be open or not. But it was, and we got to take a brief look at it, so hopefully, I forget who exactly commented on the, the video wanting to see that, but um, hopefully I've made you happy <laughs> with what I was able to look, you know, see with it. Um, that Monte Carlo was sharp, actually. If if uh, you know, if I had the extra money to do it, uh, I would probably buy that and uh, use that as the next project vehicle. But unfortunately, can't make it happen. It's actually really nice shape though. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but we're we're not going to sell a 2000 Monte Carlo. Nobody's going to want a 2000 Monte Carlo. So that's probably really the only reason why it's going to auction. It, mechanically, I'm sure there's stuff wrong with it, but probably nothing out of the ordinary for a car that's going to be 20 years old soon. And uh, the uh, Saturn, the Saturn, it, for it being 100,000 miles, that's actually really good. But obvious, obviously had oil leak, and uh, again, they probably inspected it and found other things. It being an 03, it may have sold, give or take, cosmetic issues, you know, stuff like that. So that's why it's leaving. And that Sienna, well, there's now there's apparent obvious reasons why the Sienna is not staying. 200 and some, oh wow, the mileage on those things, man. You really can drive a Toyota to death. <laughs> oh, clouds are coming back, guys next round next round's coming in I think so I'm gonna head home if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment subscribe check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's vehicle spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise that's all I've got for today guys so I will see you next time thank you again so much for watching and take care